Welcome to a video tour of the Immaculate Conception Catholic Church mobile app. Here we are on the home page of the app and we see a nice slideshow of images scrolling through. On the top right of this page you'll see a circle with a zero in it. If we push that button we go to the messages or push notifications inside the app. Now right now there aren't any messages but in the future your parish will send you important messages. They will pop up on your app or your device anywhere if you have push notifications enabled. If not, you'll see the number here on the top right. So if you see a 1 or a 2, click on it so you can see the latest message your parish has for you. Okay, let's take a look at the bottom left in the Pray section. Here we have a vast listing of resources to help you pray. We'll take a look at common prayers. You simply click on one of the prayers and it opens up and shows you the contents of the prayer. You can then scroll and close that section. We also have the entire Order of the Mass to help you follow along and say the proper responses. You can look at the daily readings from one of two sources. One is iBreviary, and here we have the readings right inside the app. You can also take a look at the readings from the United States Bishops Conference. We can zoom in here to see these readings a little better. We have Sunday reading reflections available, morning prayer, daytime prayer, evening prayer, night prayer. These daily prayers are part of the Liturgy of the Hours, and this is the same translation that those using the physical books use, so you can pray, pray along with the group using the Liturgy of Hours. Here we have the Bible, Saint of the Day, Stations of the Cross, Pray as You Go podcasts. Let's take a look at the Learn section. Here again we have many resources to help you learn about your Catholic faith. Busted Halo offers very easy to grasp and fun videos on the Catholic faith. We have Sunday Reading Reflections to help you prepare and meditate on the upcoming or just passing Sunday readings. Let's take a look at the Bible here inside the app. The entire Bible is available. On the top right you see we're looking at the New American Bible revised edition. You can click that button to pull up other editions or translations. If you click the book of the Bible, you can then jump to any other book or chapter. The entire catechism is also available. You can even search right inside the app. This is provided by the Knights of Columbus. Catholics Come Home is here, Word Among Us, the Vatican, Relevant Radio has great programs you can listen to. Daily Reflections, Catholic News Service, Movie Reviews, and even access to information from your diocese. All right here inside the app. And you can navigate from here if you wanted to learn more. Okay, we go back out to the home page and we can look at Schedule. We have Liturgy and Devotions and their times all right here inside the app. And then Holy Day and Holiday Schedule is available as well. You can make a secure donation right here from the app by clicking the Donate button. You're taking to your parish's existing donation website page. Go back to the app here. We'll go to the More section. Here you can access the various parish calendars that are available. Here on the Directions page, with one click, you can get GPS directions right to the parish. You can also email and call from right inside the app. We'll click the call button here, and you see it starts calling the parish. Okay, we also have an About Us section. General contact and parking. Parish staff. You can click right on here to email directly. Our vision and mission about our pineapple, history of the parish, history of the oblates, all available for you right inside the app. Let's take a look, look at ministries. Here we have a nice listing of ministries. I also want to point out that on these pages that are being pulled from the parish website, the translate button is available and you can translate these pages into one of many languages. 
We have faith formation resources, sacraments, stewardship. We have even more resources made available to you by your parish. Let's take a look at the capture feature. This is a fun one. You can send a photo right from your device to parish staff. You can take a photo using your device or you can choose a photo you've already taken. This is a great way to help your parish collect photos of activities and events. These are emailed directly to parish staff. They're not posted anywhere, so they are screened first. But some of those good photos you send might appear here in the photo gallery. You can scroll through and see some great photos of your parish. Social media provides you access to some good Catholic social media sites. This is another way to access the messages or push notifications that we mentioned on the home page. Journal is a place for you to take notes. You click the plus button and you can start typing here. So you could take notes at a talk or a conference. Click the check mark and it saves the notes and they're available here. These are saved to your device only. They're not posted to other app users or on the internet anywhere. Prayer wall, however, is a place where you can click the little boxes on the top right and you can log in with Facebook, Twitter, or Google and you could post a prayer request or a nice prayer message here. You log in with one of these channels in order to verify who you are. The parish can edit these, so please post nice prayer-related items here. You can share the app with friends. And refresh app content, something it's good to know about. Normally you won't need it because the app auto-updates, but if for some reason you want to make sure you have the latest content or if something looks like it hasn't updated, you can come here and read the directions on how to update the app. For Apple, you shake the device. For Android, you exit out of the app and remove it from the list of running apps and then restart it. Again, the app should update on its own. You shouldn't have to do this, but it's just here in case you want to be sure you have the latest content. We'll go back to the home screen. And this concludes our tour of the Immaculate Conception Catholic Church mobile app.